Just days after a cyber attack on a pipeline that supplies fuel to the East Coast, gas prices hit a $3 per gallon on a national average for the first time since 2014. While there have been worries of fuel shortages in other parts of the country, local gas station owner Amandeep Singh says at this point they have not had any issues as far as having enough gas for their customers. But he has seen fuel prices rise over the last few months. Gas prices are really high. I mean, I've never, since I've owned the station, I bought it uh, in April of 2020. Throughout the whole year, the gas prices were very good. Like, they stayed mostly under $2, 179 189 it's surprising to see that gas prices went up to 291, 297. That's unleaded regular gas. That's that's crazy. According to Patrick DeHaan, head of petroleum analysis for Gas Buddy, the higher prices are a sign that Americans' activities are returning to normal. He says in a press release, rising gas prices are a sign Americans are getting back into the world. This summer may see some blockbuster demand for fuel as well, as Americans find it very challenging to travel internationally, leading many to stay in the confines of U.S. borders, boosting some weeks to potentially record gasoline demand. When it comes to the pipeline hit by the cyber attack, Gas Buddy Director of Marketing and Communications Allison Mack tells me it won't impact the state of Indiana because there are refineries in the Hoosier State. 